Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good morning, I'm Jonathan Bass in for Gina DeVecchio. Here's a live view from Monterey Portola Hotel and Spa. We are looking at cloudy conditions over the bay right now and temperatures mostly in the 40s with some low 50s as well. It's 44 in Santa Cruz, 41 in Ben Lomond, 52 in Monterey and a 44 in King City. Satellite and radar shows the backside of a storm system bringing rain to Southern California and some snow to the mountains as well. As that pushes eastward, we've got high pressure settling in overhead, which means we've got clearing conditions, save for the marine clouds which move into the area. And then we've got this cold front stretching from uh, the Gulf of Alaska down nearly the length of California, well offshore. Here's that same cold front, a very long one, and a very cold air mass behind it. We can see with all this cumulus clouds here. As this cold front approaches, we're pushing that ridge that's currently overhead off to the east, and that means we've got a change in weather in store as this comes into our region tomorrow. So let's take a look at that on the model. So here's the cold front. You can see the rain along the front and just behind it. As we move through today, that will hang on to northwesterly winds and will stay under that ridge. But by tomorrow, we've got southwesterly winds coming in ahead of that front. So those will be, it'll be a little bit more breezy then. Then we've got rain entering the Santa Cruz area by about mid-afternoon or so. That sweeps through the rest of the afternoon and overnight with a very cold air mass behind it. We're looking at a dusting of snow in our local hills. We'll get the snow level down to about 2,000 feet. So our higher peaks in the Santa Lucia's and the Santa Cruz Mountains could see some snow. We'll have lingering showers in the first half of Monday, but those should be uh, pretty much cleared out by about lunchtime or so. And then breezy conditions behind the front. But Tuesday and Wednesday, those winds settle down, and we've got some sunnier skies in store and some warmer temperatures as well. When we look at the moisture with this system, we've got all our tropical moisture here from the bottom of the atmosphere all the way to the top. That's our precipitable water. And here is an atmospheric river coming from Hawaii. So if this river reached all the way to us, we'd be calling that a Pineapple Express. This is not exactly a, an atmospheric river, by the time it gets to us, it's a lot weaker, not quite as much moisture in that, but it's a decent enough moisture chap that combined with that really cold air, we've got a really good setup for some pretty good rain coming through. And so that'll give us some decent totals, even though it's a quick hitting storm. From Sunday night into Monday morning, we're looking up to about an inch in the higher elevations of the Santa Cruz Mountains in our lower lying areas, anywhere from about a tenth of an inch up to about a quarter of an inch, maybe a half of an inch in some isolated spots. Fortunately, debris flows do not look to be uh, an issue with this particular system. Forecast highs today, we're looking at low 60s to mid 60s around the San Francisco Bay coastal regions, just a degree or two cooler than yesterday because of our sea breeze coming in and inland areas a degree or two warmer compared to yesterday because we do have a warmer air mass in place. So basically widespread 60s from the low 60s to the mid 60s across the region today and tonight. 42 to 48 to temperature range, low clouds, winds will remain light. KSBW eight day forecast. Today is our nicest day for the time being. And then we've got that rain coming in Sunday, chance of showers Monday, much cooler temperatures Monday, then warming up as we move through the week with drier conditions. Overnight lows cool off significantly between now and Monday. Chance of valley frost Monday night, got Sunday night rain and then mid 30s to mid 40s the rest of the week. Alani? Well, it's a good thing we're going to spring ahead for another hour of rain. Oh, that's right. And we do have, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Yes, we are setting our clocks forward an hour ahead tonight. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Sure thing.